Ms. Lakdawalla, after you. So here we go. Look, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come on, Emily. Oh, Emily, check it out. Here it is, everybody. This hardware is going to another planet and it's not coming back. My favorite part is standing right here, right next to a rover that's going to be driving across Mars in, in just a year or so. It's, uh, it's really exciting. I can't believe that I'm standing right next to Curiosity right now. So this, all this hardware, all this metal, all these wires, all the software that's loaded in there, it's not coming back. It goes to another planet and that's where it stays and, pretty much forever. And neither is the blood, sweat, and tears of thousands and thousands of people who have been just putting so much time into building this thing, writing the software, testing it, um, making sure that the uh, folks at headquarters are still going to pay the bills to get this thing moving and, and on to Mars. And it's just, it's been, a, it's been a long process, and I'm so excited that we're almost at launch. It is striking to me how small it is and then <clears throat> how far it can go. And then uh, the radio thermoelectric generator puts out so much heat, you got to cool it off till you get to Mars. That is just, it's a lot of heat. I've heard that there are three redundant cooling systems in the launch tower, just to make sure that if that nothing can happen once they bolt that thing onto the rover, if it, if it doesn't get cooled, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll cook. bad things will happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's exciting. Everything is very clean now, but I look forward to it getting dusty. That's right, it's gonna be covered with red dust of Mars, although the landing sites that are being chosen are less dusty than most of the other places we've ever been. So Why is that? Well, because we can tell from space that they have mineral signatures. With the CHRISM instrument on Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Omega on Mars Express, we have been able to spot um, uh, clay minerals on the surface at all four of the possible landing sites, which is why we're going there. And the fact that we can actually spot mineral signatures means that we're not looking at dust, we are looking at rocks. And so this machine is being sent to study rocks and we're gonna find them. What is it so intriguing about clay? Clay is a mineral that is formed from the alteration of other minerals in the presence of water. Water is generally required to make clay minerals, and this machine is being sent to Mars to look for habitable environments, which were environments that once may have supported life. And so, as far as we know, you need water in order to um, facilitate the chemical reactions that make life work. And so we are looking, the fact that there are clay minerals means that there was water there long enough to alter the rocks to make them um, into, into these different minerals. Yeah, and so hopefully that also means it was long enough for life to form and evolve there. It's not a life detection mission, it's a habitable environment studying mission. Habitable environment studying. If we found evidence of life on Mars, it would change the world. And it all started in this room. Not bad. 